Previously on Gaslands UK, Car of the Month. I am giving up the mantle of Gaslands UK, Car of the Month. That's right, I will no longer be making the videos going into 2021. You will need to look no further than the Gaslands TV YouTube channel for your Gaslands UK, Car of the Month fixes. Welcome to Car of the Month by Gaslands UK. And we got Matt Reeves there, that's pretty cool. Hi, it's from First Place of Smoke. I've chosen Matt Reeve. If I didn't know better, I would have said that James Hall built this creation. Fred Wyver, Frank Sassian, Nick Woodruff, Matt Reeves, <laughs> the first ever in this competition's history to have three wins. Can anyone stop this man? Because we have had a change of management in the video editing, uploading and announcing department. My name is Matt. My world is paint, toy cars, blood. Ricky Williams! I am entering this month. That's right, James of JH Miniatures is throwing his hat into the ring. It's my birthday month, boys and girls, and I want to take you all on. Greetings Gaslanders, and welcome to this, the August 2021 episode of everyone's favourite post-apocalyptic diecast modelling challenge. The Gaslands UK Car of the Month competition. Hashtag Cotton. Hashtag Gluck Cotton. Which has been pointed out, sounds like someone choking on their own phlegm. Or possibly trying to pronounce something in Welsh. Gluck Cotton? Uh, no thanks, I've already eaten. So, as per usual, Gaslands UK Facebook has been a veritable hive of activity throughout August. The Car of the Month thread ending on over a thousand comments, which is frankly quite insane. Driven in part by the allure of internet sensation, egomaniac and all-round jolly nice chap, James Hall of JH Miniatures who's been whoring himself all over the interwebs in an attempt to drum up support for the one month a year his mum lets him out from the cupboard under the stairs to celebrate his birthday. And what does he do when he does that? He lavishly slaves over a mountain of plastic art and toy cars in order to challenge the bravest of you hobby-obsessed mortals and then give you his creation as a prize. You lucky, lucky people, you. With the influx of a lot of new entrants this month, there has been some confusion regarding how to date your entries. And as this is Gaslands UK, it's done the British and clearly most sensible way. So that is day, then month, then year. And there's also been a little bit of confusion about when the contest deadline is drawn. And the clue again is in the name of the group. So that means it's midnight GMT on the last Sunday of the month. GMT standing for Greenwich Mean Time. OK, not Greater American Time or anything like that. All right. Also, a lot has been discussed on how to take the best photos of your entries, both to show off your hard work, but also to help me going quite so grey in early age. So thank you to Fred Wyver for his 101 on his technique, which goes hand in hand with similar tips that have been provided by James Hall and Adam Fold of Dashlands and Car of the Year 2020 fame, which can all be found in the Facebook group. Right then, we've got a lot to get through. I've prattled on enough. And with 41 entries and nearly 500 images submitted, it has been quite the ride getting it all wrapped up into a neat and sparkly package ready for you lot to snaffle up with your eyes. And by quite a ride, I mean a monumental pain in the arse. Righty-ho, where we go. Who have we got sponsoring our antics this month? Well, let's draw aside the veil and take a look at the horrors that await. 
it's us this month and for the second time this year sponsorship duties have fallen on the Gluck admin and by admin I mean our very generous and glorious leader and Greg Davis impersonator Colin Harvard here we are sporting our brand new Gaslands UK branded clothing what a lovely couple we make eh unfortunately there still hasn't been enough time life has been getting in the way and we haven't managed to set up the shop yet but i promise you very soon you too will be able to look like us cool dudes in your very own branded merch they're pretty cool they're pretty cool t-shirts i must admit as i sit here delirious on the fumes of my 3d printer i suppose we should have a look see at the generosity that's being afforded to a select few lucky winners this month and here to present the prizes is colin looking like a mortal combat character you might have bought from wish in first place we are offering 40 pounds that's enough money to purchase a sizable bucket of toy cars or maybe a kilo of 3d printer resin in second place 20 pounds will spring from colin's pocket directly into your hand or paypal account so why not treat yourself to some lovely gubbins and greeblies from one of our six fabulous sponsors third place will be going home with 10 pounds do with it what you will this month also sees three bonus prize categories Ooh, exciting the first of which is the 10 pounds newcomer award given to an outstanding first time entrant to gluck car of the month the second is the arms race award given to the build colin feels has raised the bar in terms of innovation effects or ingenuity and finally there's the highly coveted Jim Hall prize that he is giving away to the build that most impresses his cuddly beardy face. The cake's a lie, obviously, just like Mars. That should have you all salivating. It's time to introduce the Machiavellian theme we've come up with. So bring out the cobbled together compilation of copyrighted clips and run VT. This month, we got to choose the theme for once, and we went for Mono Wheels. Mono, from the Greek monos, meaning singular, and wheels, from, well, wheels? I shouldn't have to explain that one. Back in May 2020, pre-admin Colin entered Car of the Month with a Mono Wheel Truckosaurus, a purple people eater which was created from a giant Technic Lego wheel and the remains of a Mr. Potato Head. He didn't win, unfortunately. <coughs> <coughs> I did. <coughs> but it was too brilliant a concept not to challenge the group with again. There are many ways to approach this one. Hollywood has tried on a number of occasions, as have some of the world's smartest engineers and inventors. The trick is going to be where you place the base vehicle in relation to the wheel and how you get it to balance. No supports are allowed, but you are allowed to add a base. What did the Gasland community's greatest minds come up with? How will they approach it? There's scope for all sorts of interesting ways of tackling this one, not just cars, but ball tanks, robots, repurposed wasteland scrap, or even maybe a giant hamster wheel. But don't get in a spin. There's plenty of fun to be had. Let's keep the ball rolling. I bet you're wheelie looking forward to this. I know I am. Right, out with the over-egged special effects. And who's taking part this month? We have... Aaron Northrup. Bart Van Shake. Bart Verb. Benjamin... Dan Kraus, Daryl Buckmaster, David Bousset, Doug Christie, Dylan Murray, Frank Sossian, Fred Wyver, Hardo Pius, Ian Barham, James Hall, Jennifer Howler, John Clark, Keith Boisvet, Keith McAvoy, Kilgore MJ, Corio Corgan, 
Maciej Mitrak, Matthew Dobson, Matt Andrews, Matt Reeve, Mattis Zagar, Michael Mersey, Molinaro Dominique, Nick Kitch, Richard Hubbard, Ricky Williams, Roxul Zex Nazgul, Shane Hurd, Stephen Griffith Orr, Steve Dow, Steve House, Jack Burton, Siam Azul Rezwan, Thomas Jack, Tobias Hutton, Tom Boo Baxter, Scott Howland, and William Young. Our commiserations to all those who started but didn't finish, and that includes Andy Horton, Colin Harvard, nothing new there, Paul Chapman Moss, Dan Krauss, Jay Conklin, James Featherstone, Brandon Vincent, Nicholas Archibald and Richard Side. And our sincere condolences to Sam Wessels, who started a fantastic looking Ferris wheel build and just couldn't finish it due to a bereavement in his family. So sorry to hear that, Sam. Hope to see you next month. So before we kick off looking at all the beautiful vehicles you've made this month, I must apologise. There just hasn't been enough time to do a full and detailed review of each of your wonderful builds. I appreciate coming from uh, a builder myself and having entered the competition many times, the amount of work that goes into these. Um, So I hope people don't feel shortchanged that I haven't been able to give them more than than half a minute each, really. There's just too many this month. Um, I hope you'll come back for some more, uh, and thanks for entering. So, first car out on the podium for review tonight is newcomer Aaron Northrup. And look at this amazing one to kick starters off. It's a trash bash. It's made from many recycled parts. A 3D printer has gone in there. CDs, Ovaltine lids... There's a hand-sculpted driver sitting on top. It's his Mishkin build. It's called Cyclops. And it's, quite frankly, electrifying. Now, Bart Van Shake <laughs> has done a mono mini tank. And that's created from a Smart 4.2, which is this dinky little toy car. And what a stunning yet chunky job he's done of this. Milk bottle lids, I can see. Packing tape, card, wheels... I love the teeth decal on the side. That's a beautiful finishing touch there. Congratulations. Bart Verm has also created a trash bash. I love this electrical wheel that's going on here. Um, Presumably that's taken out of a fan or something. That has been nicely put together. Some great rusting technique going on. Uh, Lacking a driver, which is a shame. It's a real shame you couldn't get somebody sitting in there. That would be the icing on a very nice rusty trash bashed cake. Benjamin, insert comedy sound effect here, pop. Wow. He's made a Pop-Tart. And floating on the Pop-Tart is is this gorgeous orange anti-gravity hover car. Orange wheelbarrow. Ben obviously was the November 2020 winner. He's got his own YouTube channel. And I suggest you check that out. We'll put that in the credits. And he will tell you about magnets and how they work. Underneath. Some lovely little trash bashed bits, beautiful greeblies, very delicate little paint job. Missing a bit of shading, but the colours really do pop on that, literally. Dan Krause's entry is built inside a Lego Technic wheel, balancing very precariously there, but oh so streamlined and oh so dangerous looking. And that flaming minigun... And fireworks in the picture, lovely, lovely little dramatic photograph there to finish it. Well done. Daryl Buckmaster's bulldog certainly lives up to his moniker. That snub-nosed front. That is a sable badger print, I believe. It's looking particularly chunky, particularly dangerous. I like the salt chipping. Nice technique there. The colour scheme is also pretty glorious. And it looks dangerous as anything. Armour panels, suspension, coil suspension around the sides. I think that is a quality, solid build. Now, David Bissett has come out all guns blazing this month and has created actually a moving vehicle. This yin-yang beetle combination drives. It's got a wire attached to it, which is, is a shame you couldn't fit a battery pack in there. But, but look at it. This is just incredible. The machining that's gone on. He's created this mechanism 
that allows it to drive. I think this is, must be a first in Gasland's UK history. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck for words. The barbed wire coils around the edge. Stunning. Doug Christie, who I believe is another newcomer to the competition, has created this slightly sinister tracked cannibal wheel. And you'd never know, but that is created from a, a tobacco tin, a dropped tobacco tin, and a fleshy flag, which is presumably the flayed skin of its victims as it drives along. Uh, and bullet shells have gone into that. Well done. Just a shame you couldn't find a clean bit of kitchen towel to photograph it on. <laughs> this is Carousel 2, Return of the Monocorn. Uh, a carousel ride gone bad. I wouldn't want to put my kids on it. Well, actually, no, they'd love it, um, completely with a machine gun. This is a genuinely f funny little number. Lovely detailed paint job, some nice little greeblies there. Um, <laughs> I'd love to see that in a game. I think it's hilarious. Frank Saucian is wading in with the big guns. Look at this monster. That, that wheel is absolutely huge. He was the March winner, you'll remember. He has just used so many different trash bash parts in this. Can you see? I can see a TV aerial. I can see electrical components. This big air Bel Air has a stunning crusty paint job. There's a full crew. Uh, lots of mesh has been used. Uh, and it's just perfect. Love it. Now, returning to the contest is February's winner, Fred Wyver. And look at this one. This Corvette with a stretch bonnet, homemade tyres, a beautiful clean paint job. Some lovely, lovely little details in there. Some implement of carnage guns from the looks of it. This little ladder that goes up the side. The shark's teeth cut out. And, and the stand, the stand, the dust that is kicking up is a beautiful finishing touch. Congratulations, Fred. Next up is Hardo, who is a first-time entrant all the way from Estonia. Another delightful trash bash. That is a cardboard roll in there that he has mixed up and mashed up with a forklift truck. Uh, lots of little bits of broken machines, bits of hardware have gone into that. Um, and a very atmospheric finishing photo. Great first job, Hardo. Congratulations. Guess who's back? It's Ian Barham, and this time the orcs are with him. His orky land yacht is an absolute monster. Look at it. It's blooming huge. It's covered in grots. It's covered in guns. It's got so many bits stuck in there. There's, he's even he's got his mantis going on. Ian, you are a nutter. James Hall joins us for his yearly bash at this competition, and look at it. What, what do I say? Well, I imagine you just go to his channel and you'll be able to watch a video that goes on for half an hour that tells you all about how he did it. But it is a giant spinning Ferris wheel covered in cars, all beautifully painted. This 1950s star clown that's stuck on the side. Bozo Circus was his theme. He's used various miniatures from various different things and customised them all to have little clown noses. No equal, he says... Is this true? Does he have no equal? I love it. Congratulations. Well done, James. New entrant Jennifer Howland, who's having a, a match against her hubby, who we'll see a bit later, has uh, produced this beautiful little piece of work. It's electrified. Some nice lightning effects in there, electrical effects. Made from a dollar store dirt bike, handmade pirate flag, some of those wobbly door stoppers, <laughs> which work really well for Tesla coils. Great. John Clark has joined us this month with a twin Jaguar balanced dog toy. You'd never know that's a dog toy in there. This is this is a very interesting one. It's, it's bizarre, but I love it. The spikes on top, that is presumably some kind of periscope, telescope. Well done. You made it in time. You didn't think you were going to do it. It's brilliant. It's mad. It's wacky and it's superb work. Well done. This month we've got Keith Boisvert on board of YouTube fame. And this is an absolute monster, the size of that tyre. There's a bone shaker in there on a four-inch radio-controlled car wheel. I love that track, that, that chunky chain-driven track. The skull on the front, I'd like to know what that's from. And it serves as a, as a vehicle carrier. Look, this, this bit tips up, the vehicle can go on top. It's an absolute monster. Nice one, Keith. Another first-time entrant, uh, and another Keith, Keith McAvoy, who has taken a Land Rover and, inspired by Sergeant Bash, 
from Robot Wars has created Sergeant Mash. Look at this, this is gnarly. It would be centre stage in any Nurgle team if Nurgle was represented in Gaslands. Congratulations on your first entry, Keith. Uh, Kilgore, we let in, he slipped it in just past the deadline, but we're allowing it. Uh, nice big chunky tyre there. Uh, like the tracks, the chains put on for the tracks for extra traction. Um, needs a little bit more, some more guns maybe, perhaps. He's popped it in a diorama here that looks like a dried out riverbed. Well done, Kilgore. Corio Corgan presenting us with Duncan O'Duggan and his Wheel of Death. This one looks like it's straight out of Wacky Races, to be honest. Um, madcap, wondrous madcap build here. This giant tyre is driven by this huge track. It's, it's marvellous, well done. Maciej's created this was on holiday, from what I gather. He's sort of locked up in a cottage somewhere um, and has come up with what is absolutely stunning i'm sure you will agree this is a trash bash it's built from a clock case various greeblies those are airfix astronauts that he's included i think the paint job is beautiful i think the concept the design is is wonderful the colors is clearly influenced by bb8 from star wars and congratulations mache marvelous matthew dobson joins us for the first time this month and He's built a team. He's built an entire squad of these gyroscopic monowheels, and they've all got their own little names. They've all got their own little personalities and weapons. They're made from wheels, uh, dirt bike wheels, I think, from the looks of it. He's some uh, North Star figures built in there, and he's broken the mould completely. Broken the mould, lined them up. And I hope you join us again for another Car of the Month. Matt Andrews is coming at you harder, better, faster and stronger this month. Daft Punk inspired. Clearly Daft Punk inspired. He's taken those STLs from Thingiverse, but what has he done with them? He, he's put them to very good use. I love the person who's running inside it. Hamster wheel. Maybe they're dancing to Daft Punk's music. Um, this is quite an original little idea, and yeah, it's fantastic. Some guy called Matt Reeve has knocked this up because he was missing being part of Car of the Month for so long. 3D printed parts, scratch built bits and bobs. That vehicle on top is from a Bug Ugly Martians dump truck. I don't know what it is. That's a sandwich bag holder on the right hand side. There's a 3D printed alien queen inside that hamster wheel. And, um, I'm particularly pleased with how the windscreen came out. Ngata Sega has produced something very fun this month. This is Destruct Vocal who looks very happy there. He's very happy. So is it a mech? Is it a, what, what is a car with bags of personality? Slightly tuned vehicle there. Lots of rust and salt chipping going on. Um, very fun. I'd like to see that in a game. Great work. Now, inspired by his very own car in real life, Michael Mersey has taken a Lego wheel and added a Honda um, and come up with the Honda GRX, the gyroscope racing experimental car, uh, written by Jenna Nightshade. Nice, little clean build, very successful. Congratulations, Michael. Molinaro Dominique does it again. Everything he makes is a work of art. His colours pop, beautiful soft tones he uses. This is a trash bash. It balances by itself. Look at all these parts he's used for it. It is... Yeah, it's, it's just breathtaking, really. Always fun to see your work, Molinaro. Uh, I love the inclusion of the little hand, the severed hand in there. This selection of barrels that actually rolls. I'm not sure how useful the giant anti-aircraft gun would be on top, but good job there's a guy in the front with twin machine guns. Sterling stuff. Très bon. Nick Kitch has created a caged rolling flamethrower of death called the Hot Wheel. Uh, I love the crew sat in there. There's a covering that goes over the top. This absolutely massive flamethrower and this beautiful crushed car that's underneath. Uh, I love it. It's just so bizarre and so dangerous looking. The stepladder at the back, the diamond plate, it all works so well. Excellent. Tremble, man, things, because Richard Hubbard has created a Skaven Ratilac Doom Wheel. <laughs> so many lovely little Games Workshop parts scrammed into this, this hovering, rat-driven, flying lawnmower of death. That huge sail, 
and the warpstone colouring. Lovely stuff. Excellent work, Richard. Ricky Williams has returned. Of course, June's winner with that amazing diorama. He's back with one of his mechs. Look at this rusty monster. An absolute beast. Those swinging wrecking balls on the side. It really reminds me of uh, 1990s children's character Brum, if he had turned to crack. Uh, I love the big drill. I love the swinging chains. Fantastic work, Ricky. Now, here with a name that scores the highest points in Scrabble is Rokzu Zex Nazgul. And I can't help thinking, Roxul, that you could have put a bit of paint on this. It would have really lifted it. I did see you'd made a tank as well. There's your bike. It could have been so much better. But well done for joining us and hope to see you again next time. Now, Shane Hurd is another builder with something to prove. He's created a squadron of five mono wheels. This tank mono wheel is the leader of the pack. Some lovely little trash bash parts in there. And then there's other members of the squad these smaller ones, and that slightly hypnotic and epilepsy-inducing background. Get a bit of plain paper, Shane. You must have some plain paper somewhere. But fantastic work. Thanks for joining us. Well done. Stephen Griffith, or July's winner, has created a Sharo tank made from an acrylic Christmas bubble, bubblegum, track. He's named it the Ball Breaker, and he's lit it up inside. Now, I did see his remote control and I hoped it was going to change colour inside. It's a thing of beauty. It looks just like the the real thing. Great stuff. Thanks for joining us. Stephen Dowell has created a beautiful little thing here. This is uh, very steampunky. Goes incredibly well with his previous steampunk build. I can't help thinking that all these lovely details though are completely obscured on the inside. You can't see them. There's holes in the side, but but look, it's it's like a watch that you've built. It, it looks like it would actually work. You could wind it up. Fantastic. Now Jack Burton has reinvented himself as Steve House. So Steve House, Jack Burton, thanks for joining us again with your Delta X. Now that's made of an etch sketch or some kind of drawing toy there. This is a modular build. He's got different weapons that attach on the side, made out of a bit of mech. I do actually like it. It's uh, It needs a bit more shading and weathering on there, but it works beautifully well. Congratulations. Another first-time entrant is Samsul Rizwan. I'm sure I haven't pronounced that correctly, but I love this. This is made from a groomobile from Despicable Me. That dangerous saw arm on these bendy, flexible pods really brings it to life. Uh, nice, crusty colouring there. Uh, I, where'd you get the driver from? I'm interested to know that. Lots of trash bash parts, bits of lighter in there. Uh, and it's made from a tape roll. Congratulations. Thomas Jack has created a mech. This is the second mech of the month and sat in a nice little diorama there. It's, it's quite dark. We can't see. I'm sure there's loads of detail in here, that, but they're just a little bit lost under the paint job. Very mangery, very mecha inspired. And I hope to see you join us again in the future. Tobias Hutton is back, this time with an Aliens stroke Only Fools and Horses mashup. He's taken a Robin Reliant and uh, Xenomorphed it, <laughs> which which I like, you know, as somebody else who did a did a Wayland Utani theme build. I love those alien eggs with the face huggers popping out. I like the colour scheme. It's dangerous. It's funny. Uh, and congratulations. Now, I find something particularly disturbing about Thomas the Tank Engine builds. I don't know, maybe because it was part of my childhood, but especially when Thomas the Tank Engine has had one of his eyes gouged out and he's mounted on a giant pivoting mono-wheel unicycle bike. But Tom Boo Baxter, that's what he's gone for. And uh, <laughs> it's sinister, but it works. Brilliant. Well done. Scott Howland of Wicked Small Garage is back. He's created a beast this month. This huge monster is part Ferris wheel, giant remote control toy car in there. I don't know how many vehicles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vehicles jammed in there. A massive crew. Um, an awful lot going on. It's a, it's a, it's a wheeled diorama, essentially. Um, fantastic work. Well done. And tearing himself away from the Martian Racing Federation, coming down to earth is William Young. Thanks for joining us, William. I like this. Very sci-fi. I like the colour shift. You said you didn't think you'd done the colour shift had worked out, but I think it works very well. It's, uh, it's fun, it's bright, it's vibrant, and uh, I hope you come and join us in the Real Car of the Month again soon. So let's get on with it and declare the winners. You've been hanging around waiting long enough. 
in first place, we have, drum roll please, as chosen by Colin Harvard, Mache Mentrak. <laughs> I, I, I'm gobsmacked. I'm so impressed with this. I, I wish I'd made it. It is such a glorious trash bash. That clock, those, <laughs> those astronauts... They they fit so well. The paint scheme, the fact that you did it under difficult conditions, away on holiday, um, yet yeah, this is this is glorious. This is absolutely glorious, and I think a very well deserved first place. Congratulations! There's so many amazing bills this month. I think Colin has really struggled with choosing which one to pick. We've had a lot of discussion backwards and forwards. But that said, we have to choose a first, second, third winner. So, in second place, it is Fred Wyver. Well done, Fred. Another beautiful, clean build from you. I'm so impressed that you managed to do that track. You made that track yourself um, from a mould that you managed to to fit this so beautifully together. It's so nicely designed. There's, There's a lot that are really nicely designed this month. That is what makes things stand out for me. It's not what you put into it or, or how good your paint job is the design. And this is designed. You know, it looks dangerous. It looks like a kit you could buy. Um, and I think that is a well-justified second place. Congratulations. So that leaves us just with third place to declare. And Colin, this month, for third place, has chosen... Matt! Andrews! You'd have to go around the world to find a more fun build than this. What defunk? Did he get lucky? No. <laughs> he just created something harder, better, faster, stronger, didn't he? He is a human after all. There's got to be a, a lot of digital love for this build. Maybe these guys are playing robot rock. Who knows? But a fun, fun little technologic build with a nice musical theme. Fantastic. You win third place. Well done, Matt. One more time. Well done, Matt. So for the Newcomer Award, drum roll, please. Colin has chosen Aaron Northrup. Come on down. Well done, Aaron. This was another glorious trash bash. So many detailed little parts in here. Lovely hand sculpted figure beautiful paint job on the wheel the electrified uh, effects which is right up Collins street um he should be telling you this but he's just too flipping lazy <laughs> fizz his money so i can't say anything really <laughs> well done aaron uh, fantastic job thanks for joining us i hope you come back for many more car of the months now the arms race prize which is the wild card this month there's so many to choose from. There's so many to choose from. This was a really tough job. There has been some amazing ingenuity this month. But for the the Arms Race Award, Colin has chosen... Benjamin Pop. Well done, Ben. That anti-grav magnetic trick. You know, Insane Clown Posse would be proud. It, it It's beautiful. It fits in so well it's so cleverly done it's hidden away those magnets you'd never know well you'd have a good guess but without being told how you did it um yeah just just ingenuity embodied well done you pick up the arms race prize oh my god can i go to bed yet no i can't um next up is james hall thank god i don't have to do this bit james hall has knocked together three minutes of him talking about his favourite this month and who gets to win his mental wheel of doom. Bozo the Clown's Wheel of Death. Here we go, handing over to James. 
Hello, Wasteland. Yes, brothers, it is I, James of JH Miniatures, and I have taken over this video because, as last year, so shall it be this year. I need to pick one of you lucky finished entrants for the official Gaslands UK's Wasteland seal of approval from my channel to you. So far, this is an incredibly exclusive club. The only way to enter is to finish your entry in the August Gaslands UK Car of the Month competition. And if successful, you will be the one to win my world-renowned award-winning entry. So the question on everyone's mind is... Who will win? Who will be joining Mache Matrak from Gaslands UK's Car of the Month competition for August 2020 last year? Because never forget, Mache blew us all away with his finished entry. I had to send him dead reckoning because there was a man truly deserving of the title of Wasteland approved. What an exclusive club. This year will mark two people in that Hall of Fame. Now, I want you all to know, I don't know who's winning this month. Probably myself, but of course. First, second and third place, all to myself. So, if by some chance this is the same person who's winning first, second or third place, well, I guess they've got double prizes, haven't they? But enough beating around the bush, it's time to declare a winner. I choose for Gasland UK's Car of the Month competition for August 2021. Wasteland approved shall be Molinaro Dominique. Yes. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Ah, Molinaro, what a build. A deconstructed VW bug, all balancing perfectly atop a wheel that you made yourself out of barrels. What an idea, what a concept. Ah, I love it, I love it. And it's it's perfectly balanced. It stays up of its own accord. Like, look at it. It should be so top heavy. It should just collapse <laughs> forwards or backwards. But it doesn't. Because you hit that perfect balanced Molinaro. And you continue the trend of creating these brilliant, stunning builds. And I want you to keep doing that. So, as recognition of your fantastic achievement... I will send you Bozo's Big Top to add to your collection. As I said, you cannot sell it. Do not leave it in a box or on a shelf gathering dust. You gotta play with it. And send us all photos so we can see it with your collection. <laughs> ah, Molinaro. You're doing good work there, my friend. Keep it up. Ah, it puts a smile on my face seeing it move forwards and backwards. See, truly, the best builds are the ones where the wheels roll. Thank you, Wasteland, and I will return you to the gentle mercies of our new video maestro, Matt Reeve. Yeah, get a room, guys. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> wow, what a month. I'm so sorry I couldn't talk more about your, your magnificent work, folks. There has just been so much to do, and there has been so many photos to trawl through. This video has taken so long to make, I'm so sorry it's late. Um, we might have to shake up the rules with how you submit photos, so we're not trawling through 1,200 and something pictures. But that's it, that was August. We're so glad you joined us. We, we love this competition. I hope you love this competition. I hope you, nobody's disappointed that they didn't win a prize. It's not about winning, it's the taking part that counts. There are some fantastic model makers in this group. And those of you who don't feel you're up to scratch yet, it doesn't matter. You're here, you're joining, you're mucking in, and you can only get better. And I really hope to see a lot of you come back for next month. The theme of which has already dropped. Kaya Still Designs, Fran Mendoza, of Kaya Missile Designs has chosen a very interesting theme. We're out of petrol, we're out of gasoline, gasoline. And so you are now forced to create alternative powered vehicles. I can't wait, I can't wait to see what you come up with. It's another one I'd really like to join you on. Maybe a will? I don't know, I'll have to see. Alright, until next time, thanks for joining us and goodbye! 
wasteland.